What's up, everybody? It's me, Jordan, and I'm here with... Hi, I'm Madison. And today we are doing a seafood mukbang. Mukbang? Mukbang? I, I don't know. I don't know. We don't know, the, we don't know how to pronounce it, but it's either mukbang, mukbang. I personally say mukbang. Either way, we're going to be eating some seafood today, and we have some shrimp, some lobster tail, some snow crab, some king crab. We have some corn over here, some potatoes, cocktail weenies. I like to call them cocktail weenies because they're little sausages. It's beef, by the way, because I don't eat pork. That's a little thing that you guys probably didn't know. We have some mozzarella sticks, some french fries, some fur rochers, and some drinks on the side. So let's dig in. Now we're gonna get started on the mukbang. Mukbang. I don't know where to start because it's like a lot. Me neither. It looks good. Yeah, I always start with like a fry. That's like really easy. What are you gonna get started with? Like seafood wise. I'm gonna start small, then I'm gonna mm -hmm. gradually like go on. So I'm okay. gonna try my That's fair. No, actually the shrimp. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have some lemon pepper. We also like Cajun seasoning. Some people use Old Bay. I don't yeah, really I like use, Old, I Bay. Use Old Bay. You do? I don't really like Old Bay because I, oh, here's a normal one. It tastes like celery to me, and I don't like celery. Like I like almost every other vegetable, but I don't like celery. Yeah, I really, it's insane. I really don't like celery. The only vegetable I don't like mm -hmm. is avocado or fruit or vegetable. It, mm, wait, what's that? There was this thing that said if it has one seed, it's a fruit. If it has multiple seeds, it's a vegetable. I think I think it's a fruit too. I wait, no Alexa. Is an avocado a fruit or a vegetable? Avocado is a fruit. There you go. It's a fruit. <laughs> I think I had that conversation with someone before, and I'm like, it's a fruit. Okay. Usually, I've only seen like um, muffins mm -hmm. if it's like ASMR. Yeah, yeah. You know that one dude that doesn't talk? I think I think so. Yeah, he doesn't talk, and like he wears gloves, and it's oh, so yeah, 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 yeah it's so know. satisfying. And then he does like some videos with um, I think her name's Stephanie or Tiffany Sue. Something like that. I really like her page. I like um B Love. I don't know if you. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I, really I want to try her sauce. Yeah, bro. I want to try her sauce. <laughs> so bad. Oh my god. Her sauce. So I heard it's really good, and she has like all these people, mm -hmm. like all these celebrities. Yeah, she um, like did Sky food. Jackson and yeah. One day seafood in the front with her one day. Mhm. Mm butter. Mmm. It's garlic butter. But yeah, it's, it's really Have you ever yeah. seen like um the um Korean hot dogs? Yes. Yes, I knew you were gonna say that because it looks like a mozzarella stick. And I'm like, I saw it on the corner of like one of the streets near my house. And I was like, they're oh. really selling Korean hot dogs up. Like, like, have you seen it? I feel, is it like um, on a like, street? So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just mm -hmm. like near one of the parks, I think. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. They're just selling Korean hot dogs right outside their house. I'm like, that's a hustle. I would stop by, but like, COVID. That's a hustle right there. I hope they're making money because. Right? They should. Bad. Oh, God. It's dripping. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna. I hate when it does this to me. Okay, I got it. We're good. We have like a little trash down here, so you don't have to see all this. You remember that one restaurant? I think it's Five Guys. They would just have peanuts all over the floor. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, have you had rallies come fries? Speaking of rallies, these are like the rallies, um, like frozen bag fries, so we just put them in the air fryer. Delicious. Ooh, have you ever tried an empanada? It's like a Jamaican meat pie. Love it. Delicious. Have you ever had um, like a Jamaican patty before? I think I have. I've had like a Jamaican meat patty. It wasn't bad, but it was spicy. In case you guys didn't know, I can't really have spicy food. And I can't even handle spice anyway, so it kind of works out. I'm gonna mozzarella stick. Try one of these out. See how it is. I'm like a mozzarella stick kind of sewer. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> but like some mozzarella sticks are better than others. Let's be honest now. I haven't really had much. The most I've had is like from. Um... If you guys didn't know, Madison's from New York. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm originally from Chicago. I was born in South Carolina, but I was raised in Chicago for a couple of years, so that's where I like to say I'm from. But we're both from big cities. Pretty, I really want to try um, Chicago pizza. Mm hmm. Because I've only had like obviously New York pizza. So far, it's the best. And we're even... This is a discussion. I I did the teacher finger. <laughs> <laughs> I did the teacher finger. New York pizza. Versus Chicago pizza. Now look, all my Chicagoans, I don't hate me for this. But let's all be honest. If you're really from Chicago, you don't eat deep dish like that. You don't. You That's don't eat deep dish all the time. Like 
Check out like their famous deep dish. Pizza. Yeah, because it's like a lot of cheese. It's yeah. a lot. It's too much. Like for a normal day, it's too much. You can only have like one slice. So honestly, like if you're in Chicago, go to Home Run Inn, get their cheese pizza with like the garlic crust. That's different. That's different. Like go to Home Run Inn. Their frozen pizzas are different, but I like them more. I put like Italian season, Italian seasoning on those. They're, ooh, so good. Oh, I went to that place. Hmm. Um, Mulberry? Yeah. You did? How'd you like it? I liked it. Mulberry pizza in California is the closest pizza you can get to New York out here, in my opinion. It's pretty good. They have turkey pepperoni. For all my non-pork eaters out there, they have turkey pepperoni. So if you live in LA, I'm gonna try lobster. I'm gonna try some lobster. I don't know how to eat it or how to get it out. Yeah, pretty, ow, this is sharp. Lobster's fighting back. Ah, scissors, duh. <laughs> I'm over here struggling for no reason and I have scissors right here. I think this is what they usually show. They're like, ooh, look, cracking the shell. <laughs> Almost there, people, almost there. I'm gonna show you guys so you can get a full glimpse into what I'm doing. Just take this into the butter. Dip it in. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Here we go. Big bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a big bite. That was the first time I've ever liked. Lobster. It's not bad though. Shout out to my mom for making this because yes. I really want to show you guys this because like, look at this. Oh my God, this is so amazing. <laughs> Got the garlic butter. I like my garlic butter. Yeah, like, the butter really is really garlicky. Really Once I finish this one, I'm going to teach you how to eat a king crab leg. She's never had king crab, so I'm going to show her how I do king crab. I'm going to cocktail me. Very good. Madison's mom is vegan. How it's been like, I think 2016 or 2015 or Mm-hmm. Her mom tries to get my mom to drink like this <laughs> big coffee. Now we like our espresso, we like our coffee. You know, the good old roast. She has to get me to turn vegan right now. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Don't you guys see? Look at those bad babies. Look at this. I know parents are always like, don't play with your food, but come on. Roar. <laughs> Honestly, you break it like a chicken wing. That's how you do it. Okay. So, so, by the middle? Ooh, yep. Ow, it hurts. Sometimes it hurts, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes you use a table. There you go. And then you pull the little tendon out, like so. Uh oh. Ooh, that was a good one. So, you get your lemon pepper, all right? You make sure that it's not open. <laughs> it's not open. Do you mind if I bite it open? No, you, yeah, just go for it. Okay. It worked. You get your lemon pepper seasoning. You just put it on your table. Literally just put it on your table, I swear. Now it looks like a lot, but over time, it won't be. So I get this little part out. Let's see if we can manage if it wants to be nice to us or if we have to, oh, this is quite sad. <laughs> it is fighting. I pray that a vegan person does not watch this video. Like, you know the vegan teacher? Yeah. She would have a fit. She would hate us for this right now. So, here we go. Oh, guten Tag. You know, I've been seeing like this little TikTok thing where people like mm -hmm. sneak their ramen into like- Yeah, they sneak their ramen into seafood boils. Yeah. I tried it once at a random spot, I found, ended up having seafood poisoning. Your girl wasn't happy and I never went back since and I make it from home. Now, this is how you do it. <laughs> So you take, make sure you don't have any fat on it because the fat is really gross. So first, dip in your butter, drown it. Don't let it see life again. Don't, <laughs> don't let it see day again. Once you finish drowning it, put it, go straight to your lemon pepper. Now get a lemon, squeeze it on top, mm -hmm, and then just like go back and forth, squeeze it on top. And then once you're ready, eat. Mmm. Lord have mercy. That was good stuff. Lord, see this is where my southernness comes out because you were like, oh no, Jordan, she's so elegant. She doesn't do this. She doesn't do that. What are you guys talking about? I'm really glad I figured out that kitchen scissors work for opening crab because before I was struggling so much. Like that. <laughs> I was struggling so much. Pop goes the weasel. 
<laughs> ooh, ooh, the seasoning. That's just kicking up in here. <laughs> Crab, butter, dip it in butter, drown it, soak it, and never let it see the day again. To lemon pepper. Ooh, Lord, that one will splash on me. And then, ooh, all of that mm, mm, goodness. One time, I was in the hospital for a month and I couldn't eat. And the entire time, I would watch mukbangs and things. <laughs> and mom would be like, why are you torturing yourself? Like, stop doing that. Even when they would eat, like for dinner, because my mom would stay with me. I'm like, mom, just let me sniff it. Please, just, just <laughs> let me smell your food. Please, I'll air eat it. R.I.P. that crab leg. Hey. <laughs> I don't know why, but I was watching like a mukbang and they said mm -hmm. like this meat, yep. they said it was poop. Why would you say that to me? Why <laughs> Why would you say that? Because I eat that all No, I don't think it is though. Obviously it's not because meat. Okay, the girls are fighting. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen like a full... Now I need you to eat this part with me though. Okay. So I'll wait. This one is really easy to cut open. I know this is satisfying. Ooh. 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 And then, like I said again, pop goes the weasel. Here's a present for you, darling. Mm. I already know people are gonna make memes of my faces. <laughs> They're gonna be like, Lord, Jordan, what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm eating crab. That's that's what I'm doing. This is this is all meat. You see that? So, butter. We dip, drown, never let it see life again. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready. I can't go with the lemon pepper. Oh, lemon pepper time. Ooh. Mmm, look at that goodness. This is such a mess, but it's so delicious. Three, two, one, go. Oh, very good. I can chew for like 20 seconds because I was laughing. <laughs> wow, that was a lot of meat. I think it was the meat that got me. Yeah. It's good, but it was just a lot. It was, it was truly a mouthful. And by the way, I'm doing the ASMR for you guys, so like a little slurp here. <laughs> I think I have a very good British accent. Let me know what you guys think. Because quite frankly, love, you did it. <laughs> Frankly, love, I dip my crab meat in the in the garlic butter, then uh, in the lemon pepper. Then take a mouthful, and you go for it. If you're not someone you eating, what are you really eating? I don't think so. <laughs> Have fun. If you dream it, it can come. If it, it can um. It can come true. All your dreams can come yeah, true. It can become, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right now, my mom would say, "I'm full." She would have like two snow crabs, maybe one king crab, and she'd be like, "I'm full." A lot of moms barely eat. Like, have you yeah. noticed that? They yeah. have like, cause like they're usually <laughs> cooking, like doing most of the cooking. They're like, oh no, I had like fries today. Right, but oh no, I had tangerine. I'm okay, I'm no, so full. Eat. No, like, ma'am, you had 12 almonds for an entire day and you said, I'm good to go. What? You ever have so much food in front of you and like, I don't know where to go next. I'm kind of stuck. Have you ever ha had um, a bacon pancake? Bacon pancake, bacon yeah, pancake, bacon pancakes, like bacon time, pancakes. I really had, like, my grandpa came together in the kitchen and we were like, you know how we have bacon and pancakes? And he's like, yeah, hear me out. Remind you, I was probably in like second grade. <laughs> Put the bacon in the pancake. And he was like, I'm down. I'm so down. <laughs> like, see, he adventures with me on food. You know, that's why he's my man. He is my rock. Shout out to you, grandpa, because I know you're watching. <laughs> I'm gonna get some corn because I feel like a lot of people are afraid to eat corn in front of others. Me being one of them. I dropped it. You doing good over there? It's in my socks. <laughs> Ooh, corn's a little spicy. I feel like I was saying that like Mr. Krabs, me not this thing one. Did your parents let you watch SpongeBob? Mm-hmm. No, well, my grandma did it. Barely. Mm -hmm. But I still watch it. I know a lot of kids and they're like, SpongeBob, I've never watched SpongeBob. My parents yeah, wouldn't let me. Like, yeah. I'm like, why? It's SpongeBob. I don't understand. Like, okay, comment down below. Did your parents let you watch SpongeBob? Because that's like a genuine question for me. Although the one thing that was funny though, <laughs> Sandy Cheeks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to my gym for 
letting me have a box of water. <laughs> like there was two different types of girls. No, three. One that would watch One Direction, one that would watch Mindless Behavior, and then one that would watch both. I was both. Who was your favorite One Direction member? Either between Harry or Zayn. Same, I was like either Harry or Zayn, but everyone wanted Harry, so you know me, little me, I was like, I wanna be different. Mm -hmm. I don't like Harry, I like Zayn. And then he went, he left the group first. I was like, oh, my love, you're All gone. Right, indeed. It was you a know? sad day for me. Man, when Zayn got married to Gigi Hadid, oh, yeah. I was happy and then I was like, wait, when did this happen? And then they had a kid. <laughs> yeah, they have a baby. Imagine how lucky that baby is. Your mom is Gigi Hadid, your dad is Zayn Malik. Well, are they still married? I think so. They look happy. Can we ask? Can Alexa, is Gigi Hadid and Zayn Malik married? I am sleeping. <laughs> okay, think about it. Their baby, their aunt is Bella Hadid. If everything goes well, their uncles are all of One Direction. That's lucky. Then you're gonna know, they're gonna know all of the Jenners and the Kardashians. Yeah. Kylie Jenner's baby, mm -hmm. so cute. She is so cute. She has way better style than me. Oh, her, her style yeah. is impeccable. Impeccable. <laughs> I've never wanted to raid a baby's closet so bad. She is my inspiration. <laughs> You know, honestly, I was like surprised by this whole Jake Paul fight. Cause like he's like, what did he? I heard he got like sixty-five million. Sixty-five million? What? To like fight? Oh no, that he was trying to fight. I think it was Mayweather. Yeah, Logan Paul is trying to fight um, Mayweather. Yeah, and we were all just sitting here like, are you sure no, you want to do May that? Mayweather's undefeated. So. Right? I'm like, are you? Is that? Is that a smart choice? Come on now. Right? Right? I'm gonna like track Mayweather down and be like, hey sir, hey. How you doing? I'm gonna get some sweets now so I can kind of refresh my palate. Yeah, I'm gonna get a Ferrero Rocher. That's my favorite candy, beautiful beauties. You know, like when you were younger and you saw your mom eating like a candy and she's like, no, you can't have any. It's, it's fancy candy, whatever. <laughs> That's this. They'll be like, no, you can't have this candy. It's too fancy for you. I'm having it now, mom. How about them apples? <laughs> In case you guys did not, I'm like really corny. I make corny jokes. Um, you guys don't see that on my Instagram. I like corny jokes, so. Right? What's a pirate's favorite letter of the alphabet? R. God dang it, I wanna say it. Okay, let's redo that. Let's redo that. Let's do it. I even I was guessing. I was guessing. <laughs> okay, what's a pirate's favorite letter of the alphabet? I You don't know? Wow. That's crazy. Um, R. <laughs> you know in Australia, I think they say Z? For what? Like Z? For Z. I think they say Z. Can you guys tell us where they say Z? Um, I think it's either Australia, New Zealand. Oh, you want the Cajun? Yeah. Try it out. See if it's blessing. I can't with us. All right, guys. Um, we're getting pretty full, so I think yeah. we're going to wrap it up. Yeah. Thank you for enjoying and watching our mukbang. I know I had some slow moments, but I promise <laughs> not like this. But thank you guys for watching our mukbang. Let us know what you thought about the food and our craziness in the comments. Yeah. And let us know what you want to see in upcoming videos. All right. Bye, everyone.